Welcome, Welcome to Detroit. Detroit. We've, We've been, been waiting, waiting for, for you. you. What? Aw. What? It's a nice little camera. It's a little camera. <laughs> wow. So you made it. You made it. Yeah. After all of the car washes and whatever a thons you did, wake a thon, rock a thon, bowl a thon, after all the planning and praying, you made it. You came by planes, trains, and automobiles. We even had some bishops come by motorcycle to be here tonight. Yeah. And where are we? We're in Detroit. Some people, some people have written the city off as God forsaken. But we know that the places the world calls God forsaken is exactly where God is at work. This is holy ground. And can we have open eyes and open hearts to see God at work in Ford Field, at the Cobo Center, in your dorms, in your hotel rooms, in people we meet, in people we don't even know? Let's do that this week. Let's expect God to be at work among us and through us. We have come here to laugh and love and serve and sing and pray. This is going to be a great gathering. Yeah. So let us call on the Lord who's already listening to us. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you promised wherever two or more are gathered in your name, you would be in the midst of them. Well, Lord, there are a whole lot more than two of us here tonight. So we know that you're present, but open our eyes and our hearts to the strength of your love, the strength of your faithfulness, the strength of your crucifixion, and the power of the resurrection. And we, though many and diverse, are one body in Christ and are all your children. Guide us this week, Lord. Open our eyes to the possibilities that you have already prepared for us. And let all God's children say, Yeah. 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 Wow, yeah. Rise up together. Woo! <laughs> this week draws us together from cities and small towns into one gathering. We will serve together, learn together, pray together, and rise up together. You'll get the chance to experience Christian community with 30,000 of your closest friends. We want you to be open to the movement of the Spirit and the story of this place. Hear where Christ is calling you during this gathering and in your life beyond these moments. Throughout this week, we're here to rise up together for the glory of God. Now, please rise up for my home bishop, Reverend Donald Chris from the Southeast Michigan Synod and Detroit. Give a round of applause for Bishop Chris. Yeah. Wow, they gave me 120 seconds to greet you and I want to take 10 of them and just say, wow. My name is Don Chris, I'm the bishop of this city and the bishop of this synod. And on behalf of the 120 congregations and communities and the one Lutheran monastery in North America, welcome to Detroit. I had several calls in my office. Lots of churches are missing their youth groups. I think you're here. And as a dad, 
don't do it now. As a dad, please text your parents and let them know that you are safely here, all right? Don't do it now, but do it as a dad, all right. I need a shout out from the folks from Southeast Michigan Synod. We are so glad that you are here. This place on the banks of the river was a site for the uh, home for the tribes of lots of Native American people. In 1701, the French settled the first city here. They named it after the spot where the river gets narrow, where you can see across to Canada. Narrow in French is Detroit. Detroit. In the 19th century, this was an important city in the Underground Railroad, as African Americans fleeing slavery in the South got to Detroit and then got across the river to freedom in Canada. In the 20th century, this was the hub of the American auto industry, and people worked here whose names you know Ford, Chrysler, Buick, that sort of folk. At its height, this city had a population of 1.6 million. At latest count, that number looks a little bit under 700,000, which is part of the reason that you are here. Detroit has been a city that has faced some really hard times. Now, the great and amazing thing is that Detroit is a city also filled with amazing, resilient, faithful people. And it is my joy to welcome you here to work with them, to walk with them, to accompany the folks that are here, to learn their stories and to share yours. To talk about faith in Jesus that shapes all of our lives. To do the things that we are called here together to do. To rise up, to bear burdens, build bridges, break chains, and to bring hope. Thank you, thank you for being here. This part of the gathering is starting now. But know that our, our friends from Mile, that's the Multicultural Youth Leadership Event, and, and Dale, that's the Definitely Abled Youth Leadership Event, have been here since Sunday. And I want to show you a video of what their life has been like. Thanks for being here. It was just cool to hear how people my age see the world. The future is now. We can come and we can look at each other and we all have something in common where we can talk about and relate in a way.